Hello and welcome to the Super Memo course. So, if you're here, you've probably heard about Super Memo from a friend, family, colleague, or maybe another student. It's not sure. Um, anyway, in this course, I'll teach you how to use Super Memo and, most importantly, how the philosophy be behind Super Memo works. Uh, many people get inside into Super Memo thinking that Super Memo is just using flashcards and doing mindless repetitions of flashcards. But uh, in reality, Super Memo is so much more. You cannot really use Super Memo to the uh, fullest of its potential without going through the necessary documentation about why it works like that and how it should be used. There is a now. And that's one of the most important things when facing... Um, a problem inside SuperMemo because if you do not adhere to the principles that SuperMemo has been created uh, on, you will probably fail at some point. You will you will commit um, you will not commit entirely and make so many mistakes, and that's a problem. So in this course, we will go be going through that. We will going through how to install SuperMemo and how it works. First of all, why using SuperMemo? Like, why would you want to use SuperMemo? What's, what's in it for you? And a lot, like <laughs> honestly, a lot. First of all, um, you cannot control the forgetting, right? No one can. So if I'm a student or if I'm trying to learn a language, a skill, anything, uh, I want to be sure that my time is not wasted and it's th that my time is used in the most efficient way, right? And that's where SuperMemo comes to play. SuperMemo allows you to easily um, control at least 90 to 95 of your forgetting inside of it. So if you're doing your repetitions, and we will later see what this means, um, SuperMemo will allow you to retain all your knowledge, or at least a big chunk of it. Unless traditional methods. When you're in school, you just go through the book, you probably jot down a summary, and then go through that summary. Which is not that efficient, honestly, because you do not know when you will be forgetting the single parts, the single elements, and the most important notions. And even if you... Like, one big argument is, yeah, but when I study, I try to understand the things so that they stuck. Okay, that principle is the first thing you have to do. But it's not just about understanding how it works, right? So, it's not just about understanding. It's also about making sure you do not forget. In every science, even art science, you still have to learn something by memory. So Remo can also be used as a tool for creative problem solving and incremental reading and a lot of stuff. Even writing. I write fiction and I'm starting to use SuperMemo for that. And me and my co-editor slash co-writer um, are honestly having a wonderful time inside of it. And I will show this inside this course. But first of all, there's so many usages and um, there's so much usage you can get from Superman, like so much. The problem is you have to commit. It's not that easy. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult, but it's not that easy either. And many people shy away because of that, because they don't want to put in the hard work. You have to lay a foundation if you really want this to blossom into something beautiful. Otherwise, it will just remain something very sterile and not bring you any fruits. Maybe some low-hanging ones, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, honestly. I'm, I'm honestly not sure about that. And how do we... Okay, now, uh, let's back to how do we use SuperMemo to improve our life? Because that, that's what SuperMemo is about, okay? Like, SuperMemo is about having back getting back the pleasure of learning which means that when you get in school 
you lose the all the love that you had for learning. It's a natural process. There is nothing strange, nothing weird. I'm not saying anything earth shattering. Everyone knows. Like you get in school, you start studying something and you instantly don't like it. And you just think, oh, it's because if I uh, transform one of my hobby, hobbies into work, it's gonna be like boring. It, it's not, it's just that you've been led on the wrong way. And how to fix that? How to get back to actually liking learning new stuff? Like it, it's a thing, like this is a thing that's hardwired into your brain. L liking um, learning new stuff. It's a given. Like every single child, you, your children are not special if they want to learn something new. Um, they are if they don't, and that's a problem. Uh, you're probably making some big mistakes in like raising them up because every child has this instinct that brings him to learn new stuff and we have to foster that. And we usually think, yeah, but adults don't really have that, do they? Yeah, but why? Like, is it because we naturally lose that? No, absolutely not. We lose that because uh, the school is the wrong guidance system and make us think that the only way to go about studying is the painful one, the not enjoyable one. I don't want to say the fun the fun way. It, it sounds lame, honestly. But it is also that. Learning is fun. It is. I'm a medicine student. I know about studying an insane amount of stuff. And I do think that it could be made enjoyable. It's not that hard. And Super Memo gives you that back. Okay, there is so much benefits, so many benefits that you probably heard from someone else, okay? So, I don't know, learning, incremental problem solving, incremental reading, uh, making just flashcards with the best algorithm around. Okay, so these are secondary, okay? Because you're now thinking, oh, I need this tool to cram for my exams, but this is not it. I mean, it's also that, but it's not just cramming. It's not just smashing, acing your exam, whatever you want to call that. It's also getting back to enjoying learning stuff because stuff becomes easier and you can manage uh, a very huge workload inside Super Memo while studying and doing other things. I have my writing, I have my um, coding, I have my Chinese and I all that stuff inside Super Memo and at the same time, I used to remember for studying medicine. And in this session, the first real session I used to remember for, at least in the right way, I pretty much passed all my exams, which never happened. I usually pass like two exams, top, okay? Like I usually do like one exam per semester, which is not much, I uh, you know. But this one I did four. Uh, like I will probably show you uh, later in this course I can just like do a, an Excel, take my um, online um, marks. So if you don't believe me, if you think that I'm lying and I can show you how Super Memo really helped me. But that's not it. That's not just the point. It's the point that I can use Super Memo to program my work so that I can do studying. I can do work stuff. I can do Chinese. I can do writing and I can do fun stuff inside of it. If you only use Super Memo for medicine, that's probably the wrong way to go about it. And we will see how to tackle, um, for example, medicine stuff, which is probably, uh, together with law, one of the most uh, dense and solid <laughs> uh, quantity of text you will have to go through, right? And together with that, you can have all the stuff you like. Like, this is a, the common mistake people think, oh, I can use Super Memo for studying and that's it. But no, that, that, that's not it. That's just like the tip of the iceberg. So in this course, we will see how to ace your exams, use Super Memo effectively, but most importantly, how to enjoy learning. Okay.
See you in the next video.